Welcome to FaceItNet. This is my second video of Windows Server 2022. On this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Active Directory Domain Controller on Windows 2022. And then I'm going to show you how to join Windows 11 to that. All right, so let's start the installation here. So before we start the installation, let's go check the system and whether the system is ready to start the Active Directory Domain Controller installation. So the first task of that is to check the IP address. Let's check what's the IP address given on this computer. So this has got an IP address 32.200, so that's fine. And I have another client computer, which is Windows 11 client operating system. So I'm going to install the Active Directory on this machine. For me to install the Active Directory, I'm going to go back to server manager. So in server manager, click manage, add roles and features, click next. This is going to be a role based features. Um, you can have role based or remote desktop services. So if you install remote desktop, you can't install the other role based features, right? So um, remote desktop is sort of a terminal server functionality. So click role based. I'm going to install on this virtual server with the IP address of 200 and then click next. The service that I'm going to install here, Active Directory Domain Services, right? So this is going to install Active Directory Domain Services. Right, you can see Active Directory Federation, Active Directory Lightweight Services, Active Directory Certificate Services, DHCP and DNS. So that uh, order has changed, right? In Windows Server 2016 and 19, you had these Active Directory DHCP and Active Directory on the top, and then you had DHCP DNS there. So here they just put the important services on the top, right? So with the Active Directory, I'm going to install the DNS as well. I don't need the DHCP right now, so I'm going to install the DNS. Click next. Click next. Pretty much I can leave this as a default. Um, this is for your Active Directory domain services as well as to connect it with your uh, Azure web services if you have got a Microsoft Azure services. So the DNS delegation part, um, so that's that comes in here, right? DNS server integration and active directory automatically it happens. And then I'll say yeah, restart if you need, and click install. Right, so now I'm just installing the Active Directory services. Once the Active Directory services has been installed, I'll need to promote this as a domain controller. Right, so it's a two-step process. First, you install the services, and then you promote it as a domain controller. So let's wait for the installation to complete. Right, now we can see the installation is completed. Let's close it and go back to this and promote this as a domain controller. Here we go. I'm going to specify the domain details. Since this is my very first domain controller, this is going to be a first. If this is a domain controller on an existing domain, then you can pick it or you can add as a, a domain controller on an existing forest. In my case, this is the first forest, so I'm going to put it as a first. And the domain name, I'm going to provide a domain name. Click next. So um, the functional level, um, so this supports anything about 2016, right? So domain and for us, so if you have anything uh, below 2016, which is Windows Server 2012 operating system, this is not going to work with that. And then let's provide a password to protect from accidental removal, DNS part. So it's gonna pick the face it net from the domain name as a net BIOS name. Yep. Next. Yep, that saves in the default location, no changes on that. And click next. So going to check the pre-request is um, 
Yep, all the prerequisites are working well. So we have satisfied the prerequisites. Click next. Right. So it is now promoting this workstation computer or work group computer to a domain controller. Once it's done, we can see it will ask you to restart. When you restart, the login prompt is going to change faceitnet backslash then administrator and then put the password of your administrator to log in there. Right. So let's um, this to complete and we'll go back to our Windows 11 machine and to make sure that this has got also a static IP address on this Windows 11 machine. Um, I'm sure this is my. Yep, virtual machine. So this is my virtual machine. So because I have got my local computer is also Windows 11. So I just wanted to confirm this is my local machine. Right, so that's my local machine domain over group. So they have changed the option here. You can see here in Windows 11, the settings has changed. Uh, we used to have option to go to device manager or something to change it. But here under the system, right, when you go about, you can see it has links to go specific location. So even to rename here, you have on the top rename button. So click here to go to the location where we can change uh, from group to work group to domain but what I need is I need to first change the uh, or I need to confirm the IP so this has got network and internet option now it looks like this is more over if you look at this it looks more over a Linux based operating system uh, if you have experience with Ubuntu or Debian you would see quite similar interface so go back there and here we can see the IP address assigned by DHCP automatically. So these are all quite different, right, from Windows 10. So click Edit. This is exactly, uh, it, for me, it looks like this is exactly like a uh, Linux operating system or Ubuntu operating system. Let's provide an IP address here. So I'll give you a 10 sub head mask. Hi, here we go. Uh, normally, at least they pick that it's a class C and then they put 255.255.255.0, but it doesn't happen here. So, the preferred DNS is my domain controller. DNS encryption so you can specify even the preferred DNS encryption right wow um, alternative DNS save so now I can see the manual IP address has been assigned here right good so this is this is all sort of a different configurations or different um, the view of Windows 11 that's nice okay so let's go back one step again um, you don't have internet just because I know I have removed the DNS. Um, the once the domain controller is completed the installation, so it's just almost completed. Uh, I'm sure that the service has been installed and now it's, it's restarting. So when it come back, it's going to be a domain controller. And all we have to do is we need to change. So uh, before we move on and change here, let's go to command prompt. And see whether I can ping that domain controller. Let's see whether it's ready. No, not yet. So let's put a continuous ping, and I can see, yeah, it resolves the IP to 200. So that's mean I can definitely join to the domain controller, right? So um, let's close this and go change. Click on domain. Oh, so just provide the domain name. Click next. Yep, it's asking for you, asking you to enter the credentials to authenticate. So provide your admin permission. 
and give you a password. Okay, okay. Yep, so since my server is ready, let's log in. You can see now it's changed. Uh, let me go in and let this system ready. So what happens? Let's see what happens here. Yep, it's joined. Click OK. It's going to ask you to restart. Cool. Let, let the Windows 9 11 machine to restart. While it's restart, come back here. And let's go to Tools, Users and Computers to see any difference. Um, there's no much difference. I can see exact same thing. Uh, it just picked the domain controller. Um, let me go back to DNS and see any, any difference here. Not really the same thing. Um, I can see almost the same configurations. Def, um, so the additional features or the changes on Windows 2019 to 2022 we'll look at look into another video. But as of now, we have seen how to join Windows 11 operating system to Windows uh, Server 2022. So it's rebooting. Let's see how does it looks like. Again. It's ready. It's asking to enter. Um, here I pick the domain. Dash. Right, put the username password in. All right, so look at the the screen. Um, Microsoft has done some work um, to keep the user more active. Yeah, there you go, it's ready. Um, yeah, so that's my machine, Windows Land. Of course, we have additional features. Uh, we'll learn this one later on. This is technically the chat is what technically Microsoft Teams. So they just rename Team to chat. So if you click here, it just goes to Microsoft Teams, right? So you can see it's Teams. Yep, go on there, um, go to the folder. You can see the icons have changed completely. Um, that's all Windows level features. But for me, it looks like we have gone back to old days with these same icons, um, but they look nice. Right, so that's all Windows. Uh, so that's a Windows Server 2022, and that's Windows 11. They both are on the same domain. Right. Thanks for watching.